we're back. Welcome back to AM Live on TSPN. We're here with Gordon Rowland. Good morning, Gordon. Good morning. How are Hi, you Gordon. today? Heather and Richard. Richard. Richard, that's right. We're talking about your guitar. Beautiful that's a guitar. neat old guitar. The stories it could tell, right? Yes. Yeah. And we're going to tell a new one today. <laughs> <laughs> and you are a, a musician, obviously, and a music teacher as well, right? So it's, tell us uh, about, been, about that. It's been my lifestyle for, mm -hmm. for many years. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, um, I've actually I just moved up here from Marin. And uh, I'm still working in Marin a couple mm -hmm. of days a week, but I teach down at the Jackson Music Store. Oh, great. And, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Mother Load Music mm -hmm. uh, on mm -hmm. Saturdays. Mm -hmm. And so that's my attempt and, to transfer. And what uh, style of music do you, or guitar do you teach? All well, kinds? Yeah, I teach, well, I don't teach any uh, rock and roll. Okay. Because I don't like to hear it. Okay. You know? And okay. Uh, I always keep my radio off because the uh, mass media. Yeah. yeah. It ruins my meditation. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing flamenco guitar, is that correct? I have done flamenco. I love flamenco. I played fl flamenco troops and things mm -hmm. like that. That's not my forte, but uh, my forte is classical. Classical. Yeah. And Very we've good. got... Uh, Some events can coming we up. I can't yes. stand it. i got to tell you got to tell us. That's up. right. That's right. Uh, and there's Tom Slavik today. Tom, how you doing? Hi, Tom. Good to see you today. <laughs> well, Gordon, we can keep talking here. I think you... Uh, Get close, Heather. Maybe pick it up on your mic. So. so, oh, okay. I'm happy to shout. Okay. So, tell us about the events you have coming well, up. We've got. I've done these um, these uh, concert series before, and when the fire broke out, I of course asked, "What can I do?" Mm -hmm. you know, the fire came right up to my kid's house and stopped. Wow. And so I said, "Well, I got to show my gratitude somehow." Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, and also, uh, as I talked to uh, various people, uh, they had a need to mm -hmm. respond to their neighbors that have been burned out. Mm -hmm. And uh, they uh, uh, also had, you know, concerns. They wanted the, they wanted the money to go straight to, to straight to the target. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of organizations responded, and, uh, and, and yet I've got a unique way of making sure that the money gets to the target because what we do is we invite uh, the people that need the money okay. to go to the event, uh, all the uh, contributions that come into the event are given to that person that night. Oh, wow. Um, we have somebody uh, counted out so we can just have a good record of it. But 100% then goes to, and then there's no worries about, you know, That's who's going to take it back and pay their right. CEO. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's no, no worries really about that. Roots. We're on to you now, big boys. Yeah. We're yeah, going to do the local things that no need to be done. No admin fee. No admin fee. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Exactly. That's wonderful. Yeah. Good job. So, yeah, there's no administration fees because everything's volunteer. Uh, some of the musicians uh, have some expenses, and we don't believe that they should pay to play. Mm -hmm. And some of them are coming up. Most, A lot of um, uh, the the more well-known uh, players are coming up from the Bay Area and and some of them from you know like we've got one from Tennessee and you know, yeah. so it was you know there's there's people that are passing through because they're on a tour mm -hmm. and and so since I know them I I know how to beg yeah and so good. I've gotten quite a quite a few extreme discounts for extremely good performers and uh, it, it's going and uh, there's going to be a monthly one mm -hmm. uh, the first the first one is uh, right here uh, uh, the, uh, at, in uh, the uh, San Andreas uh, Community Church. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that's a community church. It's the you know, big church right there behind Treats. Yeah, exactly. And um, that's going to be the first one, and uh, we're going to have a lot of uh, local performers. And uh, uh, I think everybody knows about uh, Mar Maria, this, this wonderful uh, uh, soprano that... Uh, uh, and uh, and uh, and it's being being organized mostly by people there in that immediate community that know people, and so we're pretty excited about that. That's going to be um, November fourteenth, six thirty. Uh, tickets are twenty five dollars, and that's the first one. That's can you the buy kickoff. Them at the door? Uh, you can buy them at the door. Uh, uh, I think we've got a an indication here. Uh, let me give you Shirley's number. Yeah. Two zero nine seven five four. 5816. Okay. How did I do? For more information. I think you did pretty and well. The church's number is right here, 754 3881. Very good. And they've got all the details. Mm -hmm. And Gordon, let's talk Wild about Flowers the. Wildflowers from Ashes, acoustic concert. I love that. Yeah. Let's That's talk great. about the other shows coming up before we get too much time by. 
Uh, yeah, December uh, show is going to be here. Uh, we're going to pray for good weather uh, here at the uh, uh, Main Street Theater. Has uh, the theater there and the uh, amphitheater in uh, at the Kennedy Mine. Mm -hmm. Right. And so we're hoping that the weather will hold on that one. Yes. What's and the date on that? First weekend in December. Okay. Very good. And uh, and then the whole Hotel Leger mm -hmm. uh, has a theater, and uh, that will be the January show. Uh, the February show is uh, at the Catherine Drexel Center. That is also is going to include lunch, and mm -hmm. we're going to have a kind of a day of it. We're going to have uh, um, we, all the details aren't in yet because we're still planning. We're still planning. Yeah, that's uh, a ways out. So, yeah, I've yeah. got a stack of papers that have yeah. conflicting notes. <laughs> and then March is the uh, Sutter Creek. Methodist Church, the big beautiful white church, That's or beautiful is it church. little beautiful white right. church? Yeah, it's very beautiful. And, I love and pe it. people might say that you got shows going all the way to March. Why do we need to do that for the Butte Fire victims? Because right? well, there's there's <laughs> ongoing problems. Yes. There's there's big problems. What if you've uh, mm -hmm. had insurance and you didn't know that that clause was in there that they didn't have to pay you if it was if the fire was caused by fire? Right. You know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. right. so there are things like that are going to come up. And there's a lot of people in our community that didn't have insurance that live so remotely, especially in Calaveras mm -hmm. County, they didn't have insurance, and you know they're or they couldn't get insured. Well, and a lot so of there's a lot of poverty-stricken people that have been dramatically impacted. That's right. And a lot of these people have bills, too, and sometimes mm -hmm. their insurance doesn't start paying for exactly. 30 to 60 days. Exactly. Well, priority so. is given to those that don't have insurance, insurance because we know they're the most desperate. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to say that the community is just really rallying behind this. Uh, in fact, the broader community is rallying behind this. I played for a concert up in uh, Reading uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I said, I'm donating my CD sales to this. Well, my jar up there that had CDs, because I let them do, you know, I don't... Whatever they want. Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, so uh, there were only about a half a dozen CDs gone, and they had donated over $200 to our cause. Yeah. The people from Everyone, Reading. Everybody's getting behind and it. And then we had a little concert at the um, ups, Uphill Winery last Saturday, and uh, they pitched in $700. So wow. we've got... We've got, and those are for operating costs. And since the operating costs and the musicians have all been paid and mm -hmm. underwritten by somebody else, then every dime that you spend at, at any of these concerts That's goes wonderful. directly in front of your face. That's great. Uh, uh, so we got to get the word out to those families that need it. That's what this is for. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it says, who wants help? <laughs> Pretty and, simple. And <laughs> Not a lot of red tape there. <laughs> Who, can, who wants to help and who needs assistance? It's yeah. quite a simple. We we have very few of these filled out. And actually, well, I was down at the Catherine Drexel Center, and the father said all of the people that were involved in the fire from our church are they they say we're making it fine. Don't donate to us. Yeah. He says we got to go and find somebody. Wow. And so yeah. Yeah. we are also doing the finders keepers. Well, I know a lot of people actually in Calaveras County and from there that could benefit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna spread the word. Good for you. Yeah, I will spread the word. Uh, before we run out of time, you are giving guitar lessons too. That's what I do on Saturdays. Every Saturday, and it's uh, your number is is it two nine six nine nine zero six or two zero nine two five six two five six nine nine zero six. Or you go to uh, guitarwork.com. That's my website, and all the information about the concerts will be there. Guitarwork.com. Okay. Got it. And videos. Video. You'll have to copy them and play them every day. Very good. Okay. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back.